This past week, we've been looking at ways that we can stream audio from one Mac to another. We've covered Soundfly and how we can use that to stream audio over a local internet network. We've covered iChat and how we can use that to stream audio through an audio chat. And today we're going to be looking at a free application produced by Apple called QuickTime Broadcaster. QuickTime Broadcaster allows us to stream audio from our Mac to a movie file that we can upload to the internet or share with friends. I'm going to show you how you can set this up nice and easily. The first thing we need to do is obviously download QuickTime Broadcaster. Go to the link on the right hand side, scroll down, and click the download, download now button. This will download a disk image and open it up for you. Once you've downloaded it, run the installer and go through the installation process. Now that we've installed the QuickTime Broadcaster, we need to set it up. Go to your applications folder and open up QuickTime Broadcaster. You'll be presented with a window like this and we'll go to show details. And then from here, for audio, we'll enable the audio stream, set the preset to DSL music, set this to Soundflower 2CH, oh, that's 16, 2CH, play the speaker is off, gain is 100, and we'll leave everything else as it is. For video, make sure that this is deactivated. And for network, we'll set our network to custom, our transmission to multicast, our audio address will generate an IP address, and there we go, it's right there. TTL is going to be 15, buffer delay is going to be 3. Now what we can do is we can hit Command S to save. We'll save this to our desktop as my broadcast. And it's saved. And now, if we wanted to, we could simply open up my broadcast, and it has all the settings pre-done for us. Now what we want to do is we want to go to File, Export Movie, or Command E, and we're going to call this Audio.Move. There we go. Now, if we want to test this out, we go to Safari, and we can force this to open inside Safari, hold down Command Option and drag it on, and there we go. This is what it's going to look like, and if you want people to listen to it through their Safari browser, they just have to navigate to the place that you upload it to. On the broadcasting side of things, to broadcast something, we first need to set the sound. We need to set it up so it's Soundflower 2CH. Now if you don't have Soundflower and you have no idea what this is, check the links on the right. There's a link for the Soundfly, and Soundfly is an application which installs Soundflower. And there's just plain old Soundflower without Soundfly. I was just the Soundfly method because then you don't need to restart. So we'll select this to Soundflower 2CH, we'll quit system preferences, and so now our audio is coming from Soundflower 2CH, we just need to open up iTunes, play the song, and hit the broadcast button, and when we do this, it's now broadcasting. So if I email this file to my friend, my friend can hear the audio that's playing my Mac. The disadvantage though, is that the audio is coming three seconds late. That's what the buffer is. So if we, if they're like, oh, I hate that song, and you say, and you pause it, then they will not hear the pause until three seconds later. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. So now you know how you can use QuickTime Broadcaster, iChat, or Soundfly to send the audio where you want it. If you wanted to go to a specific audience, I'd suggest the iChat method. If you just want to go and do it on your local internet network, I suggest Soundfly. If you want to give it to anybody in the world, QuickTime Broadcaster is definitely the way to go. This has been a video for the Max Blog. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.